What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to run off happened last time, this garrison in here of Torsten Nyholm um, got attacked by a previous Mughal army and they've sent more in to try and attack me. Fortunately, they have no artillery and they have one breach to go through, so this should be okay. So let's fight. I have played it, a proper full garrison to defend the city, which is my fault. I should really have Karnatska troops to the front to support the garrisons. That's what it should be doing, really. But I have not. But yes, in this instance, there is a hole. Well, there was. There was a hole, anyway. <laughs> so they fixed it immediately. Um, same drill as before. I'm probably going to want to blow a hole in the gates in the wall literally maybe blowing the gates apart might actually be the easiest thing to do so let's do that fire off let's put some militia up on the walls to to man the guns and do some firing against the enemy as they come in Well, that classic Empire Total War troop layouts for units this big. I mean, like some. So basically, territories this big don't. This level of Indian fort doesn't like it when you try and place units on it this big. There's lots of overlap, so it's probably going to cause them to, to screw up somehow. Put one straight uh, cavalry trap in. Let's probably put a union of grenadiers up here as well. To be honest, I'm putting my other union of grenadiers. So then I can have my sepoy units like so. Cavalry spikes. Ah, my grenadier unit was this guy. So let's probably put. Ah. So let's put this this sepoy unit here instead. Stop moving. That and then you guys can go back up onto this section of the wall. You guys can come over here. Come over to the up here. Oh no, so the enemy is coming from a different direction. So let's put my grenadiers here. You run, you run, probably run. This grenadier unit over here. You guys. Yeah, so you see how there's a. Like these guys have not taken up positions. Fire on these troops. Or is it not good? Or are they going to fail to blow? They're not going to be able to hit a target that small. I mean, in which case then just hold fire and then let's go get ready to do a conventional defence. Between them, these two units of militia should be enough. Hey, there you go, they are actually going to take up firing positions. So this militia should be enough to deal with this unit of Hindu musketeers, particularly if they march around the city. Because I'll take these chaps and put them over here. And then speed up time. They're being engaged from my militia on the walls. Thankfully they are militia and not firelock armed citizenry. Although cannon fire would be lovely chaps.
but it's bugged out. But I'm not about to turn firewall off and on again. Oh good, there we go. So hopefully they're routed for good. Turn firewall off, firewall on. Good. Ooh, frame rate drop. Oh, they form square up on the hill and that's okay. Make sure both my grenadiers have guard mode on. He's a levy. Got some Hindu warriors, but just lots of. Like I'm not well, I'm not worried about levy at all. Coming back. Well, I'll force the bowmen to grow. You guys firing? Musketeers, it's not in a position that's covered, so I might have to move these guys up onto the wall. Good. The Union Levy have routed, so these guys are probably getting kicked off by my units on the walls. They've routed. If they raved, if they routed before they put stuff on the walls, that'd be great. Now the fun's going to be picking apart their cavalry forces. Watch out guys, they've got bows and arrows. Our lines reformed. The target's so big we can't help but kill most of them. The Bashi Musketeers are back in position. <laughs> so these guys' reloading skill is going to become more crucial than ever as they fill up the gaps. guys could get into position that'd be great speed up time a little bit run up onto the walls and pour forth your deadly fire especially this cat yes so they form square They've routed. And they will continue to be fired upon. They're not broken, but well, they're not um, shattered. So they may come back. The issue of Hindu warriors is on the march. The general's been killed. I'm not sure who's who's firing at them. It must be friendly fire. Oh, no, they, no, they're engaging them now. They've routed. They've just got smashed by a cannonball. The second general's been killed. That's over there. Unit of Dakili. Unit of Levy coming back. They've routed, they've routed. Once the infantry's gone, the cavalry will will leave because they have no way in. Firewall off, firewall on. So did you see how they all stood muskets ready and just weren't firing? That's just a bug. So you'll turn firewall off and on again. We'll usually make them go back to normal. But as they've routed, these guys have come back. And these guys are just firing and killing my men. As they're shaken. As they get within range of my grenadiers, they are broken. Should be it because yeah, the boat he's broken. The general's bodyguard's gonna break. Oh god, they actually got smacked by that gunner. Yes, once the infantry fell, it was a. Oh no, 
Gunners, unit of camel gunners. Close victory, good. Because the, uh, the last infantry had finally left the field. A stronger garrison to make that less of a problem. Let's push them back. And let's push this force back. Oh, the Mughal Empire attacking. Have they got there? Yes, that's... Okay, you need to fall back. That army in Europe is now critical because they've landed off the coast of Karnataka. So the army that I wanted to send up against Kutak is going to do a 180 and come back. Which goes to show you whether how they transported their army to get... Like they effectively transported it around the world to get it. If they send the west coast of India, east coast. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah, port of play. So you're replenishing. So you get back. Getting good roads. Let's put a plantation. Ooh. New nation arises. Where's the special thing? Relations, trade gained, recruitment, agent detected. Nope, there's no, there's no, hey, look who spawned. It's, okay, so. You get out. Okay, we cannot wait for these units to be recruited, sadly. Let's take a third rate ship of the line. Embark. Sail them over to Portsmouth. Put the general back into Copenhagen. And then let's build these two critical buildings so I can keep researching. Let's take the militia out. Let's put. Let's put all the guard. They're all equipped with artillery, they just need five, six units of infantry. So one, two, three, four, mountain troops and experienced infantry. Yes. You, my friend, make for India at all speed. Is who hit? You are still necessary in case they cause trouble. So London has metal roads. Let's try and get rid of some of our enemies. I don't know. Oh, is Hanover at war with Prussia? Prussia, it looks like it. Peace and trade with Spain. No, they're not happy with that. Ooh, one person I do need to try trade with. Oh, they don't have any ports. Okay, they have one gun and lots of chaff. And this is a tier one fort. So let's run my militia into Karnataka. They might actually be okay, especially with the garrison bonus I get. Let's get a howitzer unit, because it could be useful. Keep replenishing, although you're quite far along actually. So move it back up into the fray. You're looking much stronger here. Let's move up Moon of Sepoys with Bruno. Let's push Bruno up. See what he finds. Let's raid in this empty town. Move up to Cutter. So I don't think I need to go too crazy over here. I mean, roads would be nice. But I doubt I'm going to get a chance to do much army building. I can recruit a general. Let's build that. Let's not worry about roads for Ceylon for now. Let's get another. I can recruit 13 sepoys. What's the difference in these light dragoons? These guys are slightly worse at attack and slightly higher defense. Let's just get some cavalry. Good. 
it. Let's hop over to the Americas. You're replenishing. Let's upgrade the port. I suspect. I don't know. I suppose some products probably aren't being exported, but they are. But let's upgrade the plantations and the farms. You're getting your roads. Keep developing the tax base. Not so bothered about gunners in London yet. A port would be a new trade port, upgraded trade port would be good, but I think I could probably do with it more in my home province. Or is Hanover ally with them? No, they're ally with Prussia. That's a lot of troops they can throw into this tiny fort. So if anything, I might send Gamel Renskolt to the artillery fort to act as a commander of these forces. And then gradually start to trickle in reinforcements. Opponent, but oh, they've smashed east and taken Warsaw. This is a real melting pot. The Ottomans are advancing on the poles. But my main concern is here. So Frederick, you're now reinforced to the point where I'm not as worried about you. You've got a couple of weak spots, but you're all still in pretty good nick. Hyderabad's got some more troops to reinforce. We've spotted one of the thuggies. And we're still on the offensive. The new army when it arrives will be very handy, and I might land it just off of Goa and make Goa the target. But let's hit and turn. And see what happens. Look, the Austrians are on the way, but it looks like they got smashed. It's probably why the Prussians feel pretty strong, as they've got Hanover watching their back. And it's probably another good reason why I don't want to be too sure, because it would... It feels like it would trigger Hanover to come after me, which I don't really want. I'm more... Let them sit there with an inexcusably high number of troops for a single region, minor nation. Russia's on the march, so they've got to be... I'm always cagey when I see them marching around St. Petersburg, because they could turn on me, because they do still want Finland. And it would be beneficial if I could take or make good progress in India before that happens. Oh, they're coming after me, so let's defend Karnataka. It should be fine. Every man your enemy who speaks ill of your king. And you must treat every Frenchman as if he were the devil himself. Damn right, Eric. <laughs> Okie dokie. Should be simple enough. Oh no, it's a big one. Uh-oh. Eh, it's not as much of a problem still. Okay, set up my mortar batteries, and they're just going to fire as they, as they please. And now I need to put. Let's put this is put sea boys to cover the gate. Good. Let's put a unit of company troops down each flank. My mercenaries are better than my sepoys and musket musketry, but not as good as my company troops. Nope. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to do something like. I mean, that doesn't work at all. I'll have to do. And then there's another unit of garrison militia to cover this area. Then that leaves me with three units, four units in reserve. Because they do have an artillery piece. Let's 
so what wall are you aiming at? Okay, it's the aiming at here. Yeah, we are doing some counter battery fire. Mortars are actually having a crack. Dervishes are concerning. I might just abandon the section of the wall completely. Too late. Let's get these guys on fire well. So let's get ready. So let's make all of them like home in back here. Whoever wants to be first in the breach, you're more than welcome. This unit's completely collapsed into going into, into melee combat with the Indians, even though... Run these simply troops back. Are you guys are ready. It's hand to be honest, it's worked though, because they've all drawn into combat. Throw in this unit of colonial militia. Got to get involved. Surround them. It's going to be a crush this these dervishes quickly. made another breach but they've committed all their forces I don't see how they can take advantage of it Sobs, get in. We need to ball them up in this corridor before the cavalry get free reign. 
recovery and I lose to some prancing bowmen. Charge in. No, you're firing a will, that's why you're grumpy. One unit back, everyone else needs to surge into that bridge. Not everyone. Some of them will need to stay back. Bows. You guys go straight into those bows. Everyone else needs to get in on that bridge. Rescind my earlier command. What's going to happen is that if we don't win either of these battles quickly, we may lose on both of them. Especially as they're, according to their horsemen, according to them, are doing very well. The bowmen are losing, the horsemen are doing well. But if we can break the bowmen, so what are these guys doing? Eager, eager. So my artillery is still pounding the guns at the back. Bowmen are going to win up here. So let's speed up time a little bit because right now there is no tactical decisions I can make. We're oh, starting to gain some odd attacks on the left. But beyond maybe pulling a unit off to go over onto this side, there's not a whole lot I can actually do. These guys are all doing. Think they all think they're doing well. That's the problem. Okay, you guys pull back. Don't go after those damn guns. Those elephants. I'll tell you that. You all go after these cavalry. Specifically, go after the cavalry. Do as much damage to them as you can do. Yeah, 
ideally I'd like to come around and hit these guys in the, in the, in the rear, but I don't think I can get away with doing that. the Zemandari horsemen just keep going because they are wavering if we can get them into a decent enough morale trap we are right on the edge dervishes are gone hit that last unit of dervishes Yep, I know they've got Okay good, everyone. Come and get the Come and get the mortars. Save the mortars. Everybody engage this unit of bowmen that have done very well. My general's died, but he he was in charge of the mortars. He wasn't important per se. See what they got left. The general, some camel gunners, and it looks like one of their gun teams has ran out. So let's go send a unit of mercenaries to go try to see them off. Everyone else, I need to set up a gun line for the Ellies. I know these guys might be a poor one to send. Yeah, like that. That's what would, might have happened. So let's send a unit of these guys up here. Send them to charge the guns. to commit they get the guys to commit but we've also managed to get the gunners to stop firing hooray but this is by this is a skin of our teeth type battle right now jeez so I think the camel gunners are gonna move in These guys are all sufficiently knackered. I think it, I could probably just get away with doing doing this. Oh, they want to chase off my routing unit. Okay. To be honest, a set of elephants. It's not. It's not too terrible, especially considering both two of my guys are wavering instantly. And um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the recording here, then bring you guys back when something interesting happens, because I fear something may go wrong, and they might just amble around like this for ages. So, see you in a sec, guys. And we're back, guys. Unfortunately, um, they didn't do anything. The, sham the camel gunners just stayed out here, the elephants just stayed out here, and it's a win for us, just by the skin of our... Just goes to show what happens when I think Karnataka is safe. So I need to ferry reinforcements in from Ceylon. Those forces I'm going to recruit, they're going to go to Karnataka immediately. And then I'm probably going to... Keep recruiting from keep recruiting from Karnataka to build up an even stronger garrison. Because um, eventually I would like to take Mysore because I don't want to have them. They want an alliance. And they want me to give them India and Hyderabad, and they are they offering to become my protectorate. Why don't I just do this? 
I know I, I know I jest. I'm not about to give you Ireland and Hyderabad to become a protectorate. I could have given them Ireland. I mean, there is a port walls. in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that. It's starting to absolutely chuck it down. Okie dokie. Oh, they have expanded. I've taken Philadelphia. I mean, I don't mind giving them an ally. Give, make them an ally. Ah, they, they don't want to be an ally, but they're willing to become my protector. But we shall see. We shall see. Although, to be honest, actually, this army might be enough to chase them. Well, I was about to say it might be enough to chase them down. It sure as hell isn't. But that's surely what they're going to do. They're going to rampage around. Let's bring the ships back. So, Kanatika, replenish yourself and build some Indian mercenaries, although there's a limit to the amount of mercenaries I can build as well. Which is unfortunate. Intellectual advance. Ah, yes. So I forgot to do that last time. So you're working on cadence marching. I'm not bothered about that. Go for machine tools would be pretty good. But not with Cambridge. To be honest, Cambridge can't, recruit, can't build any of these very easily. Odense, you go for machine tools. Cambridge, you try go for advanced irrigation. Uppsala. Free trade doctrine. Free trade doctrine is very powerful. Because it gives you plus 30% bonus to growth in trade route income, plus 10 per turn in town wealth in the region, plus 25% wealth generated by ports. Awesome. Okay, let's slip in some some guard units and some some infantry to my garrison here at the fort. Fort Kristinhof. Oh, sounds like thunder as well. Lots of traits. And recruitment looks pretty good. Karnatska's got some troops. And you can keep recruiting. Frederick Carlson's okay. Ooh. Bruno Ostling is ready to move up. Ooh, I'm not going to attack, not with mortars, no siree. So they're going to lay siege. And that is a perfect place to build a church school, I believe. Um, do I want to destroy the Superdust Palace and replace it with one of my own buildings? Put some artillery for the garrison. Let's upgrade the army board. Because I think... Are you the army? You look depleted. I mean, you could definitely do with some more infantry in general. So I want to keep you nearby. In case something happened. Although I could just smash you straight into them. And push them back as you are at full strength. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. Thanks everyone.